Good evening and welcome to the Business Day. I'm Javon Keyes. Now, I mentioned the gas prices at the start of the bulletin and here's a hint, they're all red arrows. But before we get to that, let's head to some news in the mining and quarrying industry. The government is to give up some 10 million US dollars in bauxite levy payments from Windalco over the next two years. Finance Minister Dr. Nigel Clark told Parliament this afternoon that the company approached the government stating that it was on the brink of closure and in need of assistance. Payroll for Windalco on an annual basis is 24 million US dollars. 24 million US dollars on an annual basis that goes to 600 Jamaicans. And that is what is at risk. If the plant closes, that 24 million US dollars that comes in every year to pay Jamaicans would go to zero. And what we are giving up in order to ensure that those jobs are saved is an amount. Uh, of five million dollars approximately. So it's five million dollars that you give up, but we keep 24 million dollars per year of jobs in Jamaica. Jamaica earns roughly 150 million US dollars in foreign exchange through alumina exports from Windalco. In the meantime, opposition spokesman on mining, Philip Paulwell, is encouraging the government to ensure bauxite and alumina companies are contributing to the bauxite levy. I think a strategy has to be devised where we put all the players back into that regime. It was a very good concept and system that was put in place. Jamaica realized a lot of revenues that went back into the communities. And until we get back to that stage where we can generate a tremendously more, um, far more amount to the bauxite levy we are going to see the increase in pressure and tension between the community and the companies. I do acknowledge that the jobs are relatively high paying, in fact, higher paying than some of the other industries that we support. So I, I acknowledge that. To other news now, more businesses were optimistic about economic prospects over the next few months. Head of Market Research Limited Don Anderson says based on the business confidence survey done in the second quarter, 51% of the 100 businesses which participated in the survey expected positive economic conditions over the next year. People said the economy is recovering. They're being optimistic. So, so they aren't concrete in this particular notation, but they're saying we're just optimistic that things are going to improve. Three, they're saying government policies are being put in place to improve the economy, and they are bought into this notion. Some sectors say some sectors will improve the economy, and they point in particular to the tourism sector. Overall business confidence stood at 138.2% two points rather in the April to June quarter, a 0.9% improvement compared to the previous. Now to those gas prices, motorists will face another round of increases at the pumps this week. Effective Thursday, a litre of 87 gasoline will sell for $2.58 more per litre. 90 gasoline will increase by $3.06, diesel up by $2.18, while a litre of ultra-low sulfur diesel will cost $2.29 more. 25 cents will be added to kerosene. Propane and butane will cost $3.06 more, and of course, each gas station will make adjustments to its own rates, which includes a markup to the X refinery figure coming from Petrojam. So, after prime time news, you can head to the pumps. Let's head to the foreign exchange market now. Banks and Cambios are selling the US dollar for an average $155.35. $117.87 is the going rate for the Canadian dollar. The average cost for the pound is $201.95, while it's costing $174.21 for the euro. The JSE index lost 677 points today, while the junior market index gained 27 points. Among the 44 winners were Key Insurance Company, First Rock Real Estate Investments, Paramount Trading Jamaica, Kingston Properties and Image Plus Consultants, which trades as Apex Radiology. The 44 losers include Iron Rock Insurance Company, First Rock Real Estate Investments US Dollar Shares, KLE Group, Trans Jamaican Highway US Dollar Shares, and Elite Diagnostic, now 17 stocks traded firm. And that's the business day. I'm Javon Keys. Good evening.